Over millions of years, animals have adapted and evolved an arsenal of deadly weapons to hunt, defend, and attack. Teeth, claws, antlers, electricity, stings, camouflage, odor and poisons are all being used to devastating effect in the animal armory. Using melee and brawl in combat isn't merely the domain of humans. Many animals also wield these fighting styles with deadly effect. Elk grow and lose antlers year in and year out but not before they are used as protection from both predators and rival males vying for the right to mate. The mighty bison rules the American plains thanks to their thunderous stampedes, incredible headbutts and lethal horns. Rhinoceros beetles wield unique horns they use to flip and throw opponents. Bighorn sheep battle each other for mating rights by charging at each other and smashing their heads together repeatedly for hours. They use a strike that would instantly kill a person. The mantis shrimp possesses an attack faster than a speeding bullet, which allows them to take down creatures much larger in size. The kangaroo, in its many forms, has few predators due to its muscular legs and tail, which grants it the ability to not only bound away from danger at a blistering speed, but present a series of deadly kicks when threatened. Although an ostrich never goes looking for a fight, its long legs and clawed toes means it can outrun most foes and kill with a disemboweling kick when cornered. Bush turkeys show little fear when confronted by most animals. While the silverback gorilla aggressively defends his troop from predators and other apes with the ability to wrestle and strike using the strength of 20 adult men. Across all the world's continents, animals' ability to melee and brawl can mean the difference between life and death on nature's battleground. From carvings in cave walls to the use of its antlers for their great health benefits, the elk has been spiritually revered for thousands of years. As great as its medicine is claimed to be, it's nowhere near as powerful or deadly as the elk's antlers. The elk, or wapiti, is native to North America and Eastern Asia, where they are one of the largest subspecies of red deer. Adapted to diverse habitats, the elk can withstand long winters in open plains and woodlands. Male elks are called bulls or stags, while females are cows or hind. A cow can weigh up to 643 pounds. Elk can stand up to 4.9 feet at the shoulder, while being up to 8.8 .8 feet long. Bulls tend to be 10% larger, weighing up to 1,100 pounds. Elk can be found in and around forests, feeding on grass, plants, leaves, and bark. Other than their size, the most striking feature of the elk is their large antlers, possessed only by bulls. Made of bone, antlers begin growing in spring at a rate of nearly an inch a day. While elks are growing, their antlers are covered by a layer of skin called velvet. In summer, when the antlers have fully developed, the velvet sheds. 
As the mating season begins, elks venture out from their single sex groups and the males compete for the female's attention. Challenges are displayed through bellowing and paralleling each other, by walking back and forth, and by assessing each other's antlers, body size, and ability to fight. Often at this point, one of the bulls, usually the younger or smaller elk, will back down. But if both stand their ground, they'll engage in antler wrestling, a deadly show of strength that can cause serious injury. With harems of five to over 20 cows, depending on environmental factors, dominant bulls defend their harems from other bulls and predators. In North America, predators include coyote packs and cougars who will mostly hunt calves, while wolves and brown, black and grizzly bears have also been known to prey on elk. Whereas in Asia, the elk's natural predators include wolves, brown bears, Dole, Siberian tigers, Amur, snow leopards, lynx, and boars. Elk antlers grow from two pedicles in the bull's head, which are bone follicles covered in skin. They begin growing as layers of cartilage that eventually mineralize into bone. They grow underneath the velvet that protects and carries blood to the growing bone tissue. Young bulls only have slim, unbranched antlers called spikes, which can be up to 20 inches long. Over the course of seven years, those spikes will evolve into fully-fledged antlers with up to eight tines. Weighing as much as 40 pounds, the antlers can reach a length and spread of more than four feet. Large antlers are also a sign that a bull can aptly defend themselves from other bulls and predators. When mating has ended and the antlers shed, elk return to their single sex groups. The cows remain together and the bulls form herds amongst themselves for safety while they grow their new herds. Often mistaken for buffalo, the mighty bison once thundered across the American plains in their millions. But due to human interference, their numbers have dwindled. Despite this, they are still formidable as the heaviest land creatures in North America. Throughout history, six species of bison have been recognized. Of those six, four are now extinct. The two remaining species are the North American bison and the European bison. American bison are the most numerous and found in North America, while the European bison were successfully reintroduced into the wild after becoming extinct. Like the elk, male and female bisons are called bulls and cows and are the largest terrestrial animals found in America and Europe. They stand up to 6.5 feet at the shoulder and can weigh over a ton.
bison are nomadic grazers, known for roaming great distances in herds, eating as they move. They are good swimmers, able to traverse rivers half a mile wide. At around the age of two or three years, bulls leave their mothers and join a small male herd, which are usually much smaller than the female-dominated ones, or they remain solitary. Bison appear to be big, docile creatures with no care for what's happening around them. Some might even perceive them to be lazy. The bison's temperament is highly unpredictable. They may attack someone or something without warning or reason. Moving at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, bison cover long distances with a thumping gallop. When observing the bison, its most obvious weapon are the horns on its head, borne by both males and females. The horns of the European bison differ to that of its American relative. This affects their fighting style as they interlock their horns rather than headbutting. Both bison's horns are black, short, curved and sharp. They can grow to anywhere between 23 and 29 inches. Whether interlocking horns or butting their heads, both species of bison charge their targets. With a typical weight of 2,000 pounds and running at a speed of 35 miles per hour, these massive beasts effectively use momentum to inflict maximum damage on their chosen target. In North America, bison are considered highly dangerous, with recorded charges at humans who have ventured too close. Bison are thought to be savage animals, with no fear of any other creature. Mating season runs from June through to September, with most activity in July and August. This is when the mature bulls rejoin the herd and fight amongst themselves, butting heads to gain the female's attention. It's at this time when bison are at their most belligerent, unpredictable and dangerous. Their defensive strategy is usually to stampede away from the threat. But when they have to defend themselves or fight for mating rights, they will jump from a standing position and spin around on their feet. This increases the chances of impaling the challenger on their horns. The prize is great and there can only be one winner. Famous for being sacred to the ancient Egyptians and made into amulets still popular today, Scarabs are a family of beetles consisting of over 30,000 species. The largest and strongest of these is the mighty rhinoceros beetle family. The rhinoceros beetle is found on every continent except for Antarctica. They are abundant herbivores with over 300 species, well known for their unique shapes and giant sizes, earning them colloquial names like the elephant beetle, unicorn beetle and Hercules beetle. These are among the largest beetles in the world, with some reaching more than six inches in length. Despite their massive size and fearsome looks, they are quite harmless with no stings or bites. However, they are certainly not a lightweight in the insect world. A rhino beetle can lift up to 850 times their own weight, making them, comparatively speaking, 
the strongest animal in the world. Each species has its own distinctive horns. The Hercules beetle has a unique horn that curves down from its back and another up from its head. The caliper beetle has a narrow horn with a serrated edge, which it uses to lift and shove. The Japanese rhino beetle has an upward curving horn with a fork on the end, which it uses to slide under, lift and twist its foe off the branch. These dangerous looking weapons aren't used to defend against predators, nor are they used to hunt prey. They serve for digging and food foraging, and when fighting other males when it's time to mate. A rhino beetle's best protection is their size and the fact they are nocturnal. This allows them to avoid most predators that hunt during the day, at which time they hide under logs or among vegetation where they are camouflaged. When all else fails, the rhino beetle will dig its way to safety, using its horn to bury itself underground and away from harm. If disturbed, they will emit a loud hissing squeak to scare off any would-be predators. These sounds are made by the beetle rubbing its abdomen against its wing covers. During the rainy months is when the rhino beetles mate. The females, who don't possess any horns at all, release pheromones, which arouse the males, who begin to get very aggressive, laying claim to feeding sites, often in trees. The best feeding sites are bombarded by males, who need them to attract the females. If more than one male claims the site, they begin to fight. When two males fight, they use their horns in a combination of grabbing, throwing, and shoving, aiming to throw their rival off tree branches, trunks, or whatever they are tussling on in a bid to control access to females. An adult rhino beetle is covered with a thick exoskeleton that works like armor. Underneath are a thick pair of wings on top of another finer set of wings. This allows the beetles to fly, but due to its massive size, not terribly efficient. Rhino beetles are very resilient. Depending on the species, they can live between a few months and even up to a few years. Females will produce around 50 eggs and give life to the next generation of these supreme insect wrestlers. The tribe of Native Americans called Absaluka or Crow People told stories of a boy whose demonically possessed father tried to kill him. He was saved when bighorn sheep granted him power, wisdom, strength, and heart. To this day, these attributes are associated with this resilient species. Native to North America, there are three distinct subspecies, the Sierra Nevada, Desert, and Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep. Complete herbivores, male bighorn, are called ram and can weigh on average up to 300 pounds. They stand three and a half feet tall at the shoulder and six and a half feet long. Females, better known as ewes, tend to be somewhat smaller. The Rocky Mountain variety are the largest, 
sometimes weighing in excess of 279 pounds. Whereas a Sierra Nevada Bighorn can grow to 220 pounds. Big horns get their name from the massive curved horns on their head. Their horns can weigh up to 30 pounds and are unique to rams. The ewe's horns are shorter and less curved. Male bighorn sheep skulls have two layers and have evolved to possess large horn cores, enlarged cornua, front sinuses, an internal bony scepter. They have adapted in such a way to absorb any impact and protect the brain. The horns of older rams can be up to three feet long and one foot in circumference at the base. Preferring mountainous slopes and foothill country near rugged rocky cliffs, they are well adapted. With toenails modified for climbing rocky terrain, they seek protection from predators for their young. In their groups, bighorn sheep face different directions to keep watch of their surroundings. Their eyes are wide set, providing a large arc of vision. Keen eyesight, hearing and sense of smell are what helps them detect and avoid predators. Bighorn of all ages are preyed upon by cougar, who are best equipped with the agility to handle the rocky terrain the sheep prefer. The protection granted by their skulls and horns are needed when bighorn defend themselves, charging with the intent to smash with their head and horns. The rams will try to establish their dominance over other males, leading up to mating season, also known as a rut. The challenger will antagonize the other ram with kicks and licks until one walks away, seemingly submitting, in a posture known as the low stretch. After a short distance, the seemingly submissive ram will turn and face the challenger and charge. Their skulls smash together at a force of 21 miles per hour, at a speed that would instantly kill a human. The clash of horn and skull is so hard it can be heard echoing through the mountains as the rams batter each other over and over. These fights can last for hours until one of the rams submits and walks away. Their remarkable skulls keep them from serious injury and their horns are dangerous, effective weapons. However, they remain on the endangered species list, fighting for survival in their mountain habitats. As we've seen, animals that use melee for attack or defense can be some of the most amazing fighters in the animal kingdom. The antlers of a full-grown male elk are wielded with the precision of a master swordsman. The bison's strength, speed and horns are so mighty, it's considered one of the most dangerous creatures on two continents. The rhino beetle has developed unique tools to toss rival males from the branch they fight on. And bighorn sheep, strong with keen senses and a skull that can endure hours of cracking headbutting with a force that would kill a human. It is an impressive armory that has enabled these animals to continue surviving. But other animals have an armory just as formidable. Australians call them prawn killers and sometimes thumb splitters due to the painful gashes they can create if incorrectly handled. 
They are more widely known as the mantis shrimp, and despite their tiny size, they carry a deadly arsenal of weaponry. Found in oceans the world over, with more than 400 species, the mantis shrimp is one of the most important predators found in shallow, tropical marine habitats. Most grow to around 2 to 5 inches in length, but some can grow as big as 15 inches, with colors ranging from shades of brown to vivid, almost fluorescent hues. They are deadly predators, sporting powerful claws that they use to attack prey, often killing it with a single strike. Highly aggressive, the mantis shrimp are solitary creatures, rarely leaving their burrows except to feed or relocate. They hunt in a couple of different ways, by either hiding and waiting to ambush, or chasing their quarry down and killing them. Their method of killing is determined by the type of mantis shrimp, of which there are two, smashers and spearers. Smashers have developed a club used to literally punch, bash, smash, or bludgeon their foe to death. Spearers wield spiny appendages with barbed tips they use to impale and snag their prey. Both types strike by quickly unfolding and swinging their club or spear claws towards their prey at an incredible speed, faster than a shot from a 22 caliber rifle. In order to attack with such force, without breaking their clubs or spears, mantis shrimp have evolved a special shock-absorbent core, its structure molecularly different to any other animal. It's called a bouligan structure, and it keeps cracks in the shrimp's own body from becoming full breaks. With this, it can punch over and over without ever breaking. The strike from the smasher is employed with such velocity, it generates cavitation bubbles. The collapse of these bubbles produces a force against their prey, which, when combined with the impact of the club or spear appendage, produces two points of impact. Even if the first strike misses, the force of the bubble collapsing is often enough to stun or sometimes kill the creature. In fact, the mantis shrimp's attack is so quick, theoretically, it could punch 50 times in a single blink of a human eye. Spearers prefer the meat of softer creatures like fish or squid, which are easier to slice and snag with their barbed claw. It's not only prey they employ these deadly weapons against, Mantis shrimp have always displayed a habit of ritualized fighting against each other. Not only does the mantis shrimp have one of the world's most deadly attacks, it has the greatest eyesight. It can see ultraviolet and polarized light with trinocular vision. These creatures can also live up to three years in the wild. They may be tiny, but mantis shrimps are one of the strongest creatures in the world. However, the biggest risk to their population is human impact upon the ocean. The well-known symbol of Australia, appearing on its coat of arms, currency, and used as a mascot for several companies and sporting teams. The kangaroo is an important aspect of Australian culture. 
embodying its drive to always go forward and never take a backward step. It is estimated there are over 30 million kangaroos in Australia. Colloquially, groups of roos are known as mobs. Males are also called bucks, boomers or jacks, while the females are known as does, flyers or jills. Their large feet and strong hind legs allow them to hop, while their tails help them keep balance. Females, like other marsupials, raise their young in a pouch. Red kangaroos are the largest marsupials in the world and can be found in the arid centre of Australia. They can be as tall as six feet, seven inches and weigh 200 pounds. The Eastern Greys are the most abundant type of kangaroo, covering the eastern part of the country, from the top of Cape York to Tasmania. In a suitable habitat, it's not unusual to see 50 roos per square mile, if not more. with males appearing similar in colour to red kangaroos. And tilapine wallaroos are closely related to their larger cousins. They are distinctive due to their enlarged nasal passages, allowing them to release more heat in warmer climates. Kangaroos are the only large animals in the world to employ hopping as a means of locomotion. While red kangaroos have an average speed of 16 miles per hour, they can move up to 43 miles per hour over short distances. As deserts gradually replaced forests in Australia, kangaroos evolved a need to travel long distances on little energy. Hopping was a fast, energy-efficient solution to this problem. Kangaroos have few natural predators, other than dingoes and crocodiles in Australia's north. Introduced species like foxes may also pose a threat. All species of kangaroos fight. Their fights can be brief or long and serve as practice. In competitive circumstances, the encounters are usually brief. Both sexes fight for various reasons, but the long ritualized fighting or boxing is mainly performed by the males. Males fight near females when it's time to mate, while the larger males in consorts don't involve themselves. Ritualized fights can occur suddenly when males graze together Usually preceded by two males scratching and grooming each other, they then adopt a high stance, with one challenging the other by grabbing their neck with their paws. Large males usually reject challenges from smaller ones, but when combat occurs, they retain their high standing posture and paw each other's heads, shoulders and chest, while locking forearms and wrestling to push each other off balance. During these moments, kangaroos will lean back on their strong tails and kick each other in the abdomen. Victors are declared when a kangaroo stops fighting and retreats, or the winner can push the loser backwards down onto the ground. These furious kicking hand-to-hand -hand battles establish dominance among males, displacing the loser from the prime resting sites. He must retreat and try his superb armory against the victor another time.
When threatened, ostriches run. However, their powerful long legs can be formidable weapons, capable of killing a potential predator, like a lion with a forward kick. The ostrich is the largest living species of any bird. They are flightless and native to the African continent. During the winter months, they're either in small groups or alone. But during mating, they gather in nomadic groups of up to 100 birds, led by a top hen or female ostrich, grazing with other animals like zebra and antelope. Territorial fights between males can erupt during mating season for access to harems of two to seven females. These battles are usually short. Ostrich don't fight each other like they do predators and threats. Instead, they combat each other by smashing their heads together, which can easily cause death. Many believe that ostriches bury their heads in the sand. However, this is untrue and may originate from their defensive behavior of pressing their necks to the ground in an attempt to hide. Their main weapons are their legs, propelling the bird to running speeds of 43 miles per hour. Fastest land speed of any bird. The legs of an ostrich are unfeathered with bare skin. The tarsus, the lowest upright part of the leg, is covered in scales, the largest of any living bird, measuring up to eight inches in length. Other birds possess three toes on each foot, but the ostrich only has two, with a nail on the larger inner toe resembling a hoof. Their wings reach a span of six feet, seven inches, with a wing cord measurement of 35 inches. Their wings are used during mating displays to shade chicks and help balance themselves during quick maneuvers while running. It's hard to avoid their looks that appear rather sinister with their unflinching expression. In fact, their large eyes are a perfect defensive weapon, a very useful feat given they share their savanna habitat with fearsome predators. When a predator is spotted, an ostrich will choose one of two responses, run away or lie flat on the ground and hide. When their heads and necks are pressed to the ground, from a distance they look like a mound of earth. Some predators choose to attack the ostrich nest for eggs, rather than the actual birds. In these circumstances, the parents will create a distraction to lure them away. If everything fails, they opt for a direct assault, again kicking the threat, causing injury or death. Their supreme armory is again a good reason for most predators to back off from the fight. Commonly found throughout the Australian states of Queensland and New South Wales, from bushland to suburbia, is the often annoying and always confronting brush turkey. The Australian brush turkey, with its mainly black body plumage, bare red head, yellow throat wattle, and laterally flattened tail, is a very common mound-building bird in Australia.
Leading up to the mating season, the males wattle enlarges and their heads brighten in color. They build large mounds on the ground, consisting of leaves, other compostable material, and earth. These mounds can be as high as 6.5 feet and as wide as 13 feet. The female will examine mounds for the best quality before choosing where to lay her eggs. During the mound construction process, the brush turkeys also find food such as insects, seeds and fallen fruits. During their foraging, by scratching and raking the ground, they help to aerate the soil and supply it with the vital nutrients that help the regeneration of the environment. To protect themselves from predators such as dingoes, cats or galanas, brush turkeys form roosting groups in trees. But it doesn't mean that they avoid all threats. When personally threatened, the brush turkey chooses to flee. But when predators seek the eggs in their mounds, they will attack. Their only option in combat is to ferociously peck with their beaks, hopefully scaring the creature and chasing the threat away. Goannas sometimes have scars on their tails from being chased by a brush turkey after an unsuccessful assault on the nest. In a cruel twist of fate, brush turkeys cease looking after their young as soon as they hatch, with the chicks then having to fend for themselves. Brush turkeys are vulnerable and only defend themselves when in grave danger. But the population, once almost extinct, is now expanding throughout Australia. Found in the tropical and subtropical forests of Central Africa are the ground-dwelling, predominantly plant-eating apes called gorillas. Gorillas are the world's largest primates. They are one of our closest living relatives. They mainly get around by knuckle walking, but will sometimes walk on two legs for short distances, either when carrying something or for defensive reasons. Adult male gorillas, usually no younger than 15 years old, are called silverbacks, taking their name from the silver hair on their back and hips. They can weigh up to 440 pounds, stand up to six feet tall, and possess an arm span of eight and a half feet. Gorillas live in troops, often consisting of one silverback, several adult females, and their offspring. Gorillas have larger muscles in their arms than in their legs, which can serve as extraordinarily powerful weapons. This is primarily due to the fact that they use their increased arm strength for bending and gathering foliage they live on. They inhabit wide-ranging territories, so competition for food amongst each other is rare. Gorillas rarely drink water, 
usually gaining enough fluids from succulent vegetation and morning dew. Sometimes, troops will have younger males known as blackbacks, who lack the silver hair and are subordinate to the silverback. The bonds between the females and the silverback are what the whole dynamic of the troop is based on. But it doesn't mean aggression between sexes doesn't occur. However, rarely is anyone. The silverback is at the center of the troop, making all decisions, mediating conflicts, determining where they travel, feeding sites, and taking responsibility for everyone's safety. When the group is attacked by any predator, an individual silverback will take it upon himself to protect the group, even if it means the loss of his own life. Confronted with a foe, he will stand tall, beat his chest, and hoot and threaten the challenger before charging at the threat, giving the rest of the troop an opportunity to flee to safety. Silverback gorillas have incredible strength, five to six times stronger than a human being. They have short, bulky bodies with wide, muscular chests, powerful shoulders, and very long arms. Their power comes from their low center of gravity, coupled with extraordinarily large muscles across the chest, shoulders, and into the upper limbs. When two troops of gorilla engage in battle, or a silverback challenges another for the alpha position in the troop, they will engage in combat, sometimes to the death. They wrestle, tussling with each other, grabbing at each other's arms, sides, shoulders, or anything they can to throw their opponent to the ground. If lucky, the losing opponent will be able to run away. If not, he will die. He will die. He will die. The ability to melee and brawl is often the difference between life and death. Not just for animals, but historically for humans as well. Where human beings created swords and weapons to wield, evolution has granted the elk two fearsome weapons on the very top of its head. Their antlers not only provide a means by which to impress potential mates, they grant the male elk a deadly weapon to defend themselves from predators and rival bulls. Despite the human skull being one of the strongest bones in the body, it's nothing compared to the skull of the mighty bison. We must train for the strength to lift and throw another person. Different types of rhino beetle grow unique horns they use to throw rival males from tree branches with a strength that can lift 850 times their own weight. Humans must also train to endure a fight that may go for half an hour. The bighorn sheep can smash their thick skulls and massive horns against each other for hours. Our hands are a delicate, intricate mass of fragile bones, evolved for precision. Unlike the mantis shrimp, whose claws grant them the fastest strike in the world and the ability to destroy armored prey with a single punch. Human legs give us the ability to walk, run, and jump. The kangaroos have evolved 
to enable them to travel great distances by hopping. Like the ostrich, whose legs make it the fastest two-legged creature on the planet, with a lethal kick that can kill a lion. Brush turkeys show little fear in protecting their young before they hatch, with a series of pecks from their beak scaring away creatures much more deadly than they are. And the silverback gorilla, although being a near relative to human beings, is up to 20 times stronger, being able to literally flip a family sedan. Human beings have adapted to become the dominant force on the planet. But where we have evolved intellectually, animals continue to evolve physically, granting them the powerful weaponry found in the animal armory.